Hi, I'm Martin from AMSTurbo.com and welcome to our first video in a series of videos that's going to talk about turbocharging and everything you've ever wanted to know about the car. In this first video, we're covering the basics of the turbocharger, some of its components, and how a turbocharger works. So let's say, take a look at the turbo. Uh, here we have a Garrett GTX 3582. We're going to start here from the front. This is the compressor side. So air goes into the turbo here and gets discharged towards your engine out the outlet. And looking at the components here, we have a compressor cover and a compressor wheel. Uh, the compressor cover's job is to guide the air coming into the turbo and guide it back out into the engine, whereas the compressor wheel really does all the work. Uh, I'll briefly talk about uh, a cast wheel versus a billet wheel, which I'm sure you've all heard of. That really refers to the manufacturing process of the two wheels and how they're made. Uh, the cast wheel is cast into its final shape, uh, whereas the billet wheel starts off with a solid billet chunk of alloy, aluminum or other alloy, and it's machined to its final shape. Now, the advantage there is the billet material can be much stronger than the cast material, so there's certain design advantages uh, that can be made with the billet material on the wheel to allow for more airflow. Now, moving to the back of the turbo, we have the turbine side or the hot side. We have two components here, the turbine housing and the turbine wheel. <clears throat> the turbine housing guides the hot exhaust gas into the turbine wheel and out the back to the exhaust system. Now all that exhaust energy uh, spins uh, the turbine wheel and then thus uh, powers the compressor stage. <clears throat> now these two components are also very important design aspects and as an end user, the turbine housing is available in different formats and also different uh, sizes which determine the horsepower capacity of the turbo and also how it responds. Uh, and we'll cover those topics, both the compressor side and turbine side in more detail in the advanced section of the videos. Now the last but not least is the center section. So maybe not as exciting as the compressor side or turbine side, it's very important for reliability and Garrett has done a great job at that. So this side, this section is a center section. So it houses the bearings, either journal bearings or ball bearings in this case the oiling for the bearings, and also water cooling. Now, its job is also to separate, and keep those uh, liquids separate, and also prevent them from going to the turbine side or the compressor side. <clears throat> so how does a turbocharger actually work? So, turbocharger takes in ambient air uh, from the compressor side. The compressor compresses the air, makes it more dense, and discharges it to your engine. Now, denser compressed air has more oxygen in it, and oxygen is used in your combustion process to make more cylinder pressure. The more cylinder pressure, the more torque and horsepower the engine makes. And to give you a counter example, um, let's take a naturally aspirated car, one that has no turbo, and take it from sea level, where the air uh, is atmospheric at 14.7 psi, and drive it up to the top of a mountain, let's say Pikes Peak, where the air pressure drops significantly, thus it's less dense, and now your engine makes a lot less horsepower. So there you have it, the basics of a turbocharger, how it works. Stay tuned for more videos in our advanced section and visit amsturbo.com to check those out. Thanks for watching.